Up to 6-5 in the first set was a competitive match. You, you sort of broke vis-a-vis the sun and everything and looked to it. What happened after that? Uh, I don't really know, to be honest. I mean, it's one of those matches you kind of want to forget about. Um, I know, obviously, the unforced error count was a bit too high, um, especially at the end of that first set. And, um, yeah, I just I didn't really know what to do out there. Coming in, I mean, you played not badly against Radwanska, not badly against Vekic. Um, you must have been reasonably confident that you could, you know, play at a good level in this match. Um, I mean, you know, my confidence is not high at all at this point in time. Um, and I definitely, yeah, I definitely um, had question marks about what my level would be like coming out today. G- uh, Jeannie, can you update us? Where are you? Are you still in the legal proceedings with the U.S. Open? Is that or is that still open? Is that open? Um, yeah, we're still in the process. Is there any, any side of a conclusion to it? Or? I don't know. I don't know at this point. Does, does that make it hard for you to come here and concentrate on the this process of playing tennis? I'm able to, to concentrate on the tennis uh, when I'm here, uh, but I mean, I definitely have bad memories um, from here two years ago. Uh, Jeannie, yeah, I know you've been a little critical of Maria Sharapova. What were your thoughts on her getting wild card here and you know her actually being a second seed? I was wondering what your thoughts were about her being here. Uh, well, I mean, my thoughts on that are already very public, so. What can you say about her game and just the way the match sort of evolved and what kind of problems she may have given you? Was it much beyond the fact that she was just pretty consistent? Yeah, she was pretty consistent and um, hit a bit of a higher, slower ball and uh, stood far back, so was able to kind of get a lot of balls. I mean, obviously, looking back, I'll be able to see a lot of things I could have done better, um, but you know, because I didn't kind of perform well, she was there to take it. And the sun, how much did that, obviously, was it, how much of a factor was that for both of you? I found it quite tricky. Um, obviously, it's the same for both, so not complaining, but um, it's tough. Hey, were you surprised to be on that court? Both of you, I'm seated here. Uh, I mean, I, I, a lot of matches, especially on the schedule today. I think I, I was surprised to see that. Were you surprised to see yourself there? Um, yeah, I was surprised, and uh, but it's always an amazing opportunity to play on, you know, the biggest tennis court in the world. Is Quebec City still in the plans? Do you think? Um, yeah. 